जय गुरु सो हेलो व्यूअर्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फोर एंटेंगल स्टेट्स दैट इज द बेल स्टेट्स एंड आई विल आल्सो रियलाइज इट यूजिंग द आईबीएम क्वांटम कंप्यूटर in the previous lecture i have discussed about the entanglement and make you understand using a bell state in that case only one bell state is presented there where the bell state give an equal superposition such that both of the qubits end up in the same state when measured with 50% chance that both will be in either k0 or k1 state and i have discussed the entanglement using this bell state only for the sake of a simple understanding by the viewers such that there is no confusion created in your mind by the other bell states so to clear the concept about the bell state i will discuss in this video so here you can see the four bell states which is represented by these four states beta 0 0 beta 0 1 beta 1 0 and beta 1 1 and this is the circuit by which you can create the bell states and this is the general expression for the bell state so here you can see in this circuit first we have to apply a hadamard gate and then we have to apply a c not gate a two qubit c not gate and then we will get the bell states and i will discuss how we can create these four different entangled states now first let discuss about this general equation now if x equals to x comma y y equals to 0 comma 0 that is beta 00 to the power 0 1 0 bar y bar means 0 bar means 1 and then by root 2 which is equals to k 0 0 plus k 1 1 by root 2 this is the beta 0 0 state and uh, same as for all other states now just if you calculate this one so beta 0 x comma y equals to 1 comma 0 then which is the third bell state so now let me explain about the first bell state beta 0 0 so if we apply k 0 0 in the input then we will get the beta 0 0 output 
so before go to the operation let's understand about the transformation matrix of this circuit here a hardamer gate and this is act as an identity operator If you take this product of these two transformation matrix, then you will get this one and, and try yourself that you will get this transformation matrix. If you take product, the transformation matrix of C0 gate and this one H tensor I. So here you can see if this transformation matrix applied on k 0 0 where k 0 0 is this uh, this column matrix and k 1 1 is this column matrix then you will find this matrix this column matrix which is equivalent to this state i am showing you probabilities of the output using ibm quantum computer now here these are the you can see i have already run my circuit so this beta 0 0 now here you can see i have applied k 0 and k 0 in the input and then measured the output and these are the probabilities of k 0 0 and k 1 1 about 51.56 and 48.43 percent respectively i have already run this job using quantum simulator as well as the real quantum computer Now this is the beta 0, 0 file, you can see B005 and this is the output and that, that is the measurement outcome of the bell state when the input is k 0, 0 Here you can see you will get the outcome 0, 0 490 times among the 1024 sorts and 534 times you will get 1 1 among the 1024 sorts. If you calculate its percentage for 490 sorts, about 47.87 percent, sorry, which is 47.85 percent, and here and it is the 52.14 percent. Now Now see, now see the output using uh, uh, real quantum computer. Here you can see using IBM Nairobi, where you can see uh, the outcome of 00, zero is. 511 times and uh, outcome of 1 1 is 446 times uh, among 1024 times but you can also see which is not shown in the uh, quantum simulator you can also see that there are some probabilities of getting 0 1 state and also 1 0 state for real quantum computer there are some error and noise and recoherence for that uh, some unwanted states also created the next bell state which is the second one that is the beta 0 1 where 0 and 1 are the uh, 2 qubit and it is applied on the input of this circuit so this is the output 
and if this transformation function operate on this state that is kept 0 1 state then you will get this polar matrix which means which is equivalent to kate 0 1 plus kate 1 0 by root 2 state in this case you can see which is uh, i have not discussed earlier lecture that is in previous lecture here you can see the bell pairs give an equal superposition such that both of the qubits end in the opposite state when measured this means that if the first qubit measured 0 then the second qubit will be measured 1 and the vice versa so this is also for the beta 1 1 state and i will show you later so <coughs> here k 0 1 means this column matrix and 1 0 means you can see here let's go to the ibm quantum computer here beta 0 1 file you can see Near, now here you can see for this uh, circuit the probability of this one is 48.40 percent and this is a probability 51.56 percent and uh, now if you run this one here you can see the probability is about 50 percent also here it is also the probability is about uh, 50 percent uh, so let's go to the um, output of the real quantum computer so here you can see that the wanted states are maximum either get 0 1 or 1 0 but there are also two unwanted states which is get 0 0 at k 2 1 1 as I have said earlier, in the real quantum computer, there are some error and decoherence factor present. That's why the real quantum computer have produced these unwanted outcome. Here the probability is for uh, here the probability is uh, k zero one is forty eight percent. Here the probability of k one zero is forty about forty five point five percent. So you may have question in your mind how I can calculate the probabilities uh, using those number of sorts that the frequency that is in this in this case already I have told you that uh, 492 times for uh, for k01 and uh, uh, for 10 is 4.66 that means 492 that means 492 by 1024 into 100 percent that is the probability and here is that is the 100 percent by 1024 which is equals to here about 48 percent 8 point something and this is the 45.5 percent here and uh, now this way i am calculating the probabilities now the next bell state is beta 10 where the output is kate 00 minus kate 11 by root 2 here you can see this is the state where the rectangle states state of the qubit is same here you can you can see the phase is difference from the beta 00 state so here this is transformation matrix and this is matrix for kate 10 and this is the output uh, column matrix equivalent to the state so here i am showing you the beta 0 uh, beta 1 0 state here the output is k 0 0 k 1 1 the here you can see the probability is 50 51.56 and uh, the, this is a 48.40 percent um, as we expected so this is the output result here you can see the quantum simulator result Here the probability of getting output is get 0, 0 is 51% and here the output of getting get 1 1 is about uh, 49%. So 
So it is very much uh, matching theoretical value and you can get the result of real quantum computer from this one which is I have already run. Here this is the output of the real quantum computer as, as expected there are two uh, unwanted states here but the probability is very less which can be neglected and these are the wanted state output here the 50 percent and this is about 45.2 percent. Uh, go to the next uh, bell state which is beta 1 1 uh, where the input is k 1 1 and the output is k 0 1 minus k 1 0 by root 2 it's so this is that uh, as expected this is the transformation matrix where this is the column matrix of the k 1 1 uh, state and this is the output uh, which is equivalent to this state now go to the uh, IBM quantum computer composer section here So here you can see this is the circuit to create the state beta 1 1 uh, and here you can see a not gate is applied after the k 0 0 input and this is and this so these are the output and this is the q sphere output here and now and this is the simulator output you can see here see more details this is the output of beta 1 1 so here this is the outcome of gate 0 1 the probability of getting this state is about 50.5 percent and this is the probability of getting this state is about 49.5 percent which is very close to theoretical value i am showing you the result of the real quantum computer now this is the ibm nairobi output results of the ibm nairobi quantum computer here you can see there is a so some unwanted states uh, as you expected here then these states is um, much uh, larger than the previous ones but uh, we can neglect here you can see the probability of getting k01 is about 50 percent this is so the probability of getting one zero is about 42 percent which is which is not match our expectation as we expected about 48 or uh, 46 uh, 46 to 47 percent as the as you see the earlier circuits so let's go back to this one state so i have discussed all the bell states that is all the entangled states so i think can give you a uh, preliminary concept about the bell state and the entanglement how you can create the entangled state using the bell circuit so and this entanglement is used in the quantum network circuit and the quantum communication that is the teleportation. So in the next lecture, I will discuss about the teleportation of the quantum information. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more and more videos.